Hello again, Munir Ajam here with the iSmile series on project management. Uh, in this short, short topic, I will talk this time about uh, PBS versus WBS. Um, the, the term WBS or work breakdown structure is quite common and uh, it is used in the Pumpa guide and many other resources. However, it's not uh, the PBS as another term is not used often. Uh, the term PBS or project breakdown or product breakdown structure is a term uh, again as I said is not as common as WBS. So what's the difference between them or what are they? Well WBS is a term uh, the start was the first one is the most common is a breakdown of the project work. So basically if we have a project, whatever that project is, we can use an example in a minute, is we want to break down the work. We want to break down the work into uh, all the work, the scope of work that has to be done on the project to deliver the final product uh, result or uh, the final product or result of the project or the final output. So every project must deliver a certain output. We call it sometimes product or result. Uh, so basically, the work breakdown structure is a breakdown, the hierarchy. So basically, we start with the top, we start with the project, then we break it down to uh, one level down, said, okay, what will be the major component of this project? For example, in a project life cycle, if we said we need to follow a project life cycle, if we use a life cycle as a hierarchy, then below the project life cycle, we have phases. In the SUCAD model, below phases, we have stages. Within the stages, each stage have other activities or work or tasks that has to be accomplished. So, the work breakdown structure is a breakdown of the project work that has to be accomplished to produce a product. And it looks like an organization chart or an inverted tree. And ideally, it could be used on Excel or Word, but, you know, a graphical representation would be a pretty good option. Another thing uh, we have, since we talk about the WBS is the work that a project has to do to deliver a product. So what is the PBS? PBS is a product breakdown structure. So basically, it's more of a breakdown of the component of the final product. Well, what does it mean? Let's use an example. We want to build a house. A breakdown, product breakdown structure, is a breakdown of the house component. Uh, so basically, to you know, a house would have uh, inside and outside. Inside, we have living room, common spaces, kitchen, bedroom, bathrooms. Outside, we might have a pool or a landscape garden or whatever the case might be. So that is more of a breakdown of the product. So we are describing, in a way, the PBS is describe the product and how it looks like or what are the major components of that product. The work breakdown structure is the work that has to be done to deliver the house. So, in order for us to deliver the house, what do we have to do? Well, we have to have the concept design, architectural design, uh, engineering design, construction, testing and commissioning. These are the major level of the work that has to be done to deliver the house at the end. With that in mind, of course, I can break it down further. For example, in design, uh, we can do the interior design, the exterior design. Um, <coughs> we can do uh, in engineering, we have the mechanical, we have the electrical, we have the control system, if it's a smart house. Outside, we might have a landscape architect, do the landscape, maybe a pool designer to design a pool for us. Okay, So these are activities, work activities, that has to be done on the project in order to deliver the product. So to close, the PBS is the product breakdown structure as a breakdown of the final product of a project and uh, basically we break it down into its component whereas a work breakdown structure is a breakdown of the work that has to be done to deliver that product hopefully uh, this simplistic explanation um, provides some clarity on the difference between PBS and WBS